Yo, what is going on guys, YouTube, I'm Invaders, and welcome back to my channel for some brand new content. So, it's been a really long time since I released my last 4.3 stretch video tutorial, and I know there's been a lot of complaints that it hasn't been working on Windows 10, and that is for both desktops and laptops. So today I'm releasing my brand new final solution that I've come to, um, as to how to play 4.3 stretch on a laptop. And this also will work on a desktop, it's a very simple fix, and uh, it only has about four simple steps and maybe even two if the first half of this video works for you you won't have to bother about the extra steps but without further ado let's jump right into this yeah. so first thing you want to go ahead and do is open up your google chrome tab and once you're here you're going to want to head and uh go to this link i will leave a link to this in the description down below but basically it's this program i promise you it's not malware it's not a virus it's not going to destroy your computer but basically it's a program that changes your resolution resolution on the click of a key using a hotkey system basically to toggle between different resolutions so all you're going to do is uh, scroll down you're going to find out where the uh, download leak is which is right here I'm going to click download and it's going to immediately start it. It's going to give you a zip file, which you're going to need RimWar WinRAR for. Assuming that everybody has WinRAR because, you know, it's a common thing. But I will leave a link for it down below in the description. And after you download it and extract it, you'll go to wherever you saved it to. For me, it's in my documents. And here it is, HRC, Hotkey Resolution Changer. You're just going to want to double click it. And it's gonna open, but it won't open as a box on your screen. If you actually look into the bottom right, you'll see that it opened as um, more of a, a sidebar app. And you just wanna click on it down here by the carrot or wherever it shows up down here on your taskbar. And um, once you open it, you're gonna get this. So as you see, it says hotkey, has a resolution, and all of that good stuff. So basically what you wanna do, you wanna set this first one to your native resolution. And then you want to set a hotkey for it. For me, I use Control F2 because it's something that I won't press while I'm in game, and it's uh, not a common key for me to a key combination for me to use. So it won't cause any issues if I'm trying to switch between resolutions on the fly. And for my second resolution, I also use Control F3. So I set my hotkeys. After I set the hotkeys, or also forgot to mention, for your um, second resolution, you want to set that to whatever your 4:3 stretch resolution would be. If you don't know how to find that, you're simply going to want to open up your CSGO. And when you go into CSGO, you want to change your resolution to 4.3. After changing it to 4.3, you want to set it to whatever the max resolution there it is there for you. It could be anything from 1152 by 864 to 1024 by 768, 800 by 600. Whatever the max resolution is for your 4.3 aspect ratio on your monitor is your main 4.3 stretch resolution. So if you don't know what 4.3 stretch resolution you're going to be using, just simply go to your CSGO and follow those steps that I said. And whatever that resolution is, is what you want to set your second hotkey to. For me, it's 1024 by 768, so that is the resolution I set there. And also, I set my hotkey. Now I am done for this. I can sh- Whoa, 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 whoa. Pause. I actually forgot a step that we're going to insert right here like as if it never happened. So, you know, like I said, basically once you uh, go ahead and set your resolutions in here to your 4-3 stretch resolution, I forgot that you actually need to go into your uh, display settings right here. Um, wait for this to load. Once it's loaded, you want to go into your advanced display settings. And then you want to go down into the display adapter properties. And then you want to go to the Intel HD graphics control panel. And, um... Basically, you're going to want to like change this into your 1024 by 768 like this. Uh, keep changes. And normally what this is not, this is going to be set to maintain aspect ratio. So you're going to have these black bars on your desktop. You just want to change this to scale full screen. And, you know, when you do that, you can uh, go ahead and go back to your native resolution and uh, follow through with the rest of the steps that I had in the video. So when I snap my fingers, the video is going to continue. And now all I have to do now is go into my Counter-Strike, which is right here. So yeah, as you can see, once I'm loaded into my CSGO, I'm simply just going to want to go over here to the Options, Video Settings, just to make sure. As you can see, my aspect ratio is set to normal, 4.3, resolution set to the highest one, which is 1024 by 768. And I'm just going to want to go ahead and press the high key I assigned to my 4.3 stretch resolution, which will be Control and F3. And as you can see, my game just stretched into 
with zero problems and now I can officially play this game in 4-3 stretch with no issues. Only problem that may arise is if you were to alt tab back to your desktop and tab back in, you will have to re-click your hotkey to reset the 4-3 stretch in game. But besides that, this is basically the end of the tutorial for you if this worked. Now for some people, I know they may be saying that, oh the step didn't work, I got to this part and when I went to stretch, the game itself didn't actually stretch. So if that's the issue for you, you're just going to want to quit your CSGO and you're going to go over here to your search and you're going to type reg edit. And as you can see, it's going to come up as this and I already have mines open. So here it is right here. And once you're in here, you want to go to your H key local machine down to system. After that, you want to go to con current control set and then go to control. You're going to want to scroll down until you see graphics drivers. <clears throat> once you reach graphics driver, you want to scroll down to configuration and you're going to see basically a lot of random title like numbers and whatnot you know some of them may look familiar for example i use a tv sometimes with this laptop so i can tell that this is my tv monitor registered onto my computer as it says vizio so basically um what you want to do when you open this up if you never connected any like auxiliary devices such as another monitor or whatnot to your laptop then you should see only like maybe three to four different of these numbers basically when you open these numbers up uh, let me find it. All right, this is a good example. So when you open these numbers up, you're going to see 00. Open that up, you'll get another branch that says 00. And then you just want to scroll down to scaling. You want to modify this and you want to set the value data to 3. And once you set this to 3, it should be set to 2, I think, by default. You just want to set it to 3. I already changed mine, so that's why it's there. Set it to 3, click OK. And basically that is it for this device. So now you can close out this device. And if you have a lot of devices and you can't decipher which one is your built-in uh, standard laptop display or whichever one you play on, you're going to have to consequently go through all of these and basically go to 0, 0, 0, 0, go to the scaling, modify, and basically set every single one to 3. As you can see, this one is 2 because I basically kind of skimmed through the list and tried to find which one was my laptop built-in screen and I just happened to get lucky and find the one that was my laptop screen so that's that but yeah basically you're just going to scroll through all of these go in the zero zero folder go down to another zero zero just go into scaling and keep you know changing the um scaling value data on these to three once you do that you just want to uh, go ahead and so exit. once you're done with that and you exit your registry you should be able to go back and relaunch your CSGO and activate the 4-3 stretch resolution using your hotkey while you're in game and everything should work just fine for you. If something did go wrong, please leave a comment down below. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. I know I haven't been uploading lately. I've been really busy, even a lot of stuff I've been focusing on here and there. But I will try my best to reply to all the comments. This should work on your laptop perfectly fine. And like I said, it does work on desktops as well if you do want to use this method. But um yeah, as always, you guys are YouTube, I'm Invaders, and this is me, signing out.